All right, we continue, of course, to sit down with the legendary leadersmith, uh, Black Mambazo. But, of course, they'll be performing for us mm. uh, throughout the hour. Uh, right from the SA morning, but seated with us, we're joined, of course, by Sponseni Shabalala and, of course, Ntati Albert Mazabuku. Welcome back. I enjoyed our meal. Yeah. <laughs> I enjoyed. I know there's another plate coming through there from the chef. Plate. It's so good. It's delicious. It's How delicious. was it? How was the food? Yes. Was, was it good? Yes. Oh, no, no, no one was talking, so it was, it was obviously very, very, very good. Very good. <laughs> How do we begin to celebrate mm. Nelson Mandela? Because if any way you were able to do it with the artistic license of music, it would be you. But where do you begin to even have that discussion? Because you were talking about song selection earlier. Yeah. Yeah. How do you begin to do that here? Uh, it's very difficult, but our relationship with the... Uh, Tatu Matiba started in, in 1993 when we went to perform for him after he had been released from prison uh, for his birthday. Mm. Um, when we met him there, um, we started singing. And then when we were singing our last song, he came up on stage and he started dancing with mm. us. The Madiba Jive. The Madiba Jive. <laughs> so we joined into Madiba Jive. We stopped doing our dance. We joined him and danced with him. So from there, uh, he told us that um, uh, he actually encouraged us to, to keep going. And he said uh, mm. the music of Lady Smith Black Mamba so had been an inspiration for, for him while he was still in prison. So he wanted the group to continue doing the good yeah. job. And from there, he said he's going to invite us everywhere Aww. he goes. And that started when he went to Oslo to mm. receive his Nobel Peace Prize. Right. Yes. So we went there. We sang for him. Yeah was very happy at the, at the ceremony there. And then after that, when we came back, my father wrote a special song for him mm -hmm. uh, called Long Walk to Freedom, which is one of the songs that we sang from 1994 up until now. Everywhere we go, yeah. we make sure we sing that song because we want to remind people about the mm -hmm. importance uh, of the work that, uh, that Matiba did for the country right. and also for the world. But, but Masibuka, what do you think has been the secret to also being relatable to a global community? One would say, maybe you need to be westernized, don't dress too <laughs> African so the mm. people in Oslo can relate, sing in English, but you have stuck true to uh, who you are, being authentic. What would you say is the secret? I think the secret is because this music, uh, Babu Joseph Shabalala, mm. He got it from the dream. I mean, I mean uh, the dream when you were asleep. He had a dream in, in 1964 because he, he had a wish of developing this kind of music mm. of Stratamia, but he didn't know how. Until in 1964, he had a dream every day when he went to sleep, he was dreaming one song, mm. people singing for him. That's where he learned how to blend the voices and also how to put even the dancing according to the song and also even the behavior that we should we, sh we should behave ourselves mm -hmm. and <clears throat> he was even given the, the prayer mm. that the group should pray so i think the secret is behind all those things because every time when joseph writing a, mm -hmm. a new song the following day you will tell us that the song that i, I wrote and then we, we practice my teacher is meaning his uh, God. Yes. He came to me in the in my dream. He was dreaming everything. Yeah. <laughs> and then he told me that uh, I didn't do it right here. Mm. The, this message it won't work right if I put it this way. Yeah. So that was a, a beautiful challenge. I can say that. Mm. And then we said we, today we are learning something that you have never known its existence. Yeah. Yeah. So. We are still, you know, in that journey even now. Now we are joined by the, the sons. Yes. I'm so grateful that oh. you, the way they handle it and then the way they just take it to the upper level. Yeah. I love the question you asked, and I want to just follow up with that. I've just been hearing through my earpiece, uh, Studio One, mm. uh, everyone else getting ready for a performance in a couple of minutes, so don't go away on that. So sticking to your roots, sticking to what you know, staying true to yourself, how do you then still adapt to try and be relevant and current now without separating yourself from exactly what Tums is talking about, staying true to yourself? Do you adapt? Do you deliberately do it? Yes, you know, the music, it's, uh, if you are the musician, you are the pe uh, a person that you, you try to address everything. And also you are a prophet. 
whatever that is happening. So you always get a, um, a solution in your mind that if I can do this, this it could make this better. So I think it, that's a secret. Mm. And Sponsen, for you, I mean, especially as the sun's coming in now, joining the group and, tr and almost respecting the origins of the group without trying to change it to fit today's world, what would your advice be as well to other artists uh, who are either starting new genres or who are uh, who feel the pressure almost uh, to fit into other molds and not stay true to who they are because they're afraid of either being rejected, not being accepted, not making sales, not being successful, not getting the Grammy Awards. Um, what would your advice be to them? Um, the music, when my father studied, the, 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 the thing that uh, happens uh, these days is maybe people, uh, they, when they start the music, mm. they want to be like someone. Uh, when Lady Smith started, they didn't want to, it, they, their ambition was not to have money to be successful or to, to be famous. Mm. So now the problem comes now because people, they want to be like someone else. They want to be famous. They want to have money like someone. They don't uh, appreciate what they have. They don't uh, do the music for the love of the music. Right. If you're doing something that you love and be patient with what you are doing, it's not going to happen the next day. Just take time working on your craft uh, before you even try to present it outside. You know, like we have the chef mm. today. Mm. He made sure that he cooks the food yeah. and he didn't want us to taste something that he's still trying. Mm. He knows that now it's perfect and he put it in front mm. of us. Work on your craft and uh, be patient with yourself uh, so that by the time you present to the people, yeah. everyone will will accept what you uh, what you have made. You know, I knew that waiting on that album that I want to release yeah. is, was a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the right track. I knew that my, my, my soprano album, yes. I need to be patient with this. So thanks. No, so I, I'm so glad you mentioned the chef because I just saw Chef Sia yeah. smiling ear to ear as you said that. I'm going to ask you about the performance we're going to hear in just a moment. While we do that, one more dish. Chef. Oh, yes. Bring that in for us. What have we got? We've got uh, very hungry people. What have we got? <laughs> As Nanya Mango, you get to translate that for me. Hey, Gareth, this looks so good. All right, so please explain it for us while you're dishing out. Yes, yes, is beef with some pumpkin and some beans. So we cook the beef with the the fat that comes from the outer layer instead of using uh, oil, because oil is a bit expensive these days. Yeah. <laughs> but besides that, it actually gives a very nice flavor of the beef. Yeah. So we, we, we're literally using everything when we're using the beef. So that's basically what we have there. Sampan beans, oh uh, some pumpkin and uh, beef, caramelized onion and amangani. Oh they, they call mm. it chicharroni mm. when you go to America. So. When we've rendered the fat, mm -hmm. that little fat that's left, mm. I've actually put it back in there, so it's got a nice crunchy bit. Mm. Delicious. Delicious. Chef, Delicious. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. you. So while, while we're enjoying this, we're going to take in one more moment from uh, Studio One, where everyone is set up for Lady Smith Black Mambazo. Just take us to break on this one. What is the song we're about to hear? The song is called Leli Lungelo Ngelako. This is your opportunity. Right, let's take a listen to that. Here's Lady Smith Black Mambazo. Back in a moment. So I'm a 
I'm 